technology that we have in our laboratory is uh, very much the, the latest technology available. Sophisticated instruments like these continually check the amount of chemicals and metals in the water to ensure that plant operations meet the requirements of the Clean Water Act at all times. At on-site labs, water samples are tested for dissolved oxygen, chemicals, and temperature every four hours around the clock. These certified lab technicians and operators undergo rigorous training to meet state requirements. We have a three-year apprenticeship program where the, uh, the operator is put on on-the-job training schedules as well as three months worth of classroom training. Training and experience are particularly important in the plant control room where the processes are monitored and controlled 24 hours a day. The uh, control room is the nerve center of our plant. It gives us the ability to not only monitor what's happening out there, but to also control a piece of equipment. The second step of the treatment process uses biology to clean the wastewater further. The water comes through with the organic pollutants. It's introduced to microorganisms. The bacteria that are found in our aeration basin are the same as bacteria found in nature. The bacteria feeds on the material in the wastewater. We make it more efficient by providing the proper air, environment, time, and we also recycle the bacteria for reuse. The air compressors uh, deliver oxygen to the bacteria, keeping the aerobic process alive and healthy. Here in this microscope, you can see bacteria 10,000 times its normal size. We're basically following a natural process found in nature. We're just uh, doing it in a more efficient manner. There are several other ways to treat wastewater biologically. One of these is with trickling filters, large open tanks filled with rocks or synthetic materials. This layer of rocks has microorganisms that grow on the surface. As the wastewater filters through that media, the microorganisms feed on the waste as it passes through. After biological treatment, the mixture of wastewater and bacteria goes to more clarifiers. Next, the treated wastewater flows off the top. The water that comes out at the top is close in quality to the water that, that uh, people would see, say, in a tropical fish tank less than half a percent of what goes into that clarifier goes out with the water and the rest goes out with the solids. After this secondary treatment step, between 85 and 90 percent of the pollution has been removed from the wastewater that entered the plant. Often, wastewater is treated in a third advanced step before it is disinfected, particularly when the rivers, streams, or lakes receiving the effluent require extra protection, or the effluent is to be reused. In this step, phosphorus and nitrogen are removed. Then the effluent is sometimes passed through filters to remove any remaining solid particles. Phosphorus and nitrogen must be removed uh, from, the, from the flow stream because it, they are both nutrients which promote the growth of algae in the receiving streams. Algae then die and form uh, deposits on the bottom of the lake's algae, consumes oxygen, and, and creates fish kills. Both forms of nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, are prepared for removal in the aeration tank. Nitrogen is removed in the aeration tank by passing through zones of air and no air. Phosphorus is changed and removed either biologically or chemically. After the effluent has passed through treatment, it must be disinfected. Chlorination, ultraviolet irradiation, and ozonation are processes that are commonly used to kill any remaining organisms that can cause waterborne diseases prior to discharge into the receiving system. Safe storage of hazardous materials as well as odor containment is an ongoing concern of treatment plants. We go a long way in trying to minimize these odors by installing odor control systems, anything that will minimize the odors that are naturally generated through the processes. Maintenance engineers work continuously to repair, replace, and modernize all transfer and processing equipment. Our biggest asset is the people that do the work day in and day out. 
Now the treated water or effluent is ready to be returned to the environment. This recycled water is used for agricultural and recreational irrigation in residential and urban areas. It can be added to lakes and streams to improve wildlife habitats and recreational facilities. When this treated, disinfected effluent is returned to our water environments, it again becomes a part of the natural water cycle. Another plant recycling process involves the treated, nutrient-rich organic material, or biosolids, that are removed from the wastewater. Biosolids are used for everything, from helping to fertilize the lawn of the White House, to producing greater crop yields for farmers. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has established standards and safeguards to ensure that biosolids are safe for human use. What exactly are biosolids? After organic matter is removed during primary, secondary, and advanced treatment processes, it is stabilized and called biosolids. There are several methods that can be used for stabilization. Biosolids are treated <coughs> specifically by digestion. Digestion is uh, very similar to the human, human body, stomach, um, and it stabilizes the biosolids so they can be used uh, as fertilizer. Treatment plants work continuously to ensure EPA requirements and standards are followed when recycling biosolids. Any incoming industrial waste is minimized and full treatment, including stabilization, pathogen and pest reduction, and in most cases dewatering is always completed. After they are stabilized, the biosolids may be dewatered by using sand drying beds or filters in large presses to remove the moisture. The biosolids are then transported to be used as a fertilizer, soil enhancer, or burned as fuel. Often, biosolids are mixed with wood chips and cured into a humus-like material called compost. Biosolids recycling improves timber growth, saves diminishing landfill space, enhances landscaping and gardening, and reclaims stripped mine lands and once contaminated hazardous waste sites. By significantly improving crop growth and yield in farming, biosolids recycling is a cost-efficient complement to chemical fertilizers. Additionally, biosolids recycling programs help local governments offset the cost of solids disposal, preserve natural resources, and improve the environment. We're protecting the environment, we're preventing pollution out in the rivers and bays, and we all take pride in what we do here. In communities throughout our nation, the natural recycling process used in wastewater treatment plants preserves the environment and protects this most precious resource. Everyone on the planet is really concerned about making sure that the environment is protected so they do their job to the best of their ability and, and beyond. I've been very concerned with environmental issues all my life and I feel that this is one of the places where I can really make a difference. Wastewater treatment, it's nature's way too. And it said for more information, contact your local wastewater treatment facility. And for this area, it is here at the Bat River Wastewater Treatment Plant. We get an average of about 180 million gallons a day. And just for the younger people, those, all that brown stuff that you saw in the tanks, that's not feces, okay? Because what happens is in your body, you have natural bacteria that's just digesting your food. So when you have a bowel movement, those same bacteria is in your bowel movements that you're flushing down the toilet. So it is traveled to the wastewater treatment plant. It is continuing to digest organics. That's what it does. Anything that organic, can I have your attention please? Anything that's organic is something that was once living or would have, you know, had life to it. So bacteria is in everything, in nature and everywhere in nature. So it is constantly um, digesting all of the organics. So what you see is after they have digested, most of that are just uh, actually bacteria cells. That are
take the full tour. We'll come back.